the first step in this program is that they have launched this program on 20th July 2018. And it is purely an evidence-based conceptualization and it is with inclusive approach. And this program addresses all four hepatitis viruses. And uh, this program also coordinates, integrates, and leverages the existing programs. The key, key strat strategy in this program are awareness generation, consolidate the existing efforts, and strengthen newer interventions, capac capacity building, and monitoring and evaluation. WHO hepatitis launched an elimination goal for uh, 2030. World Health Organization, it defines the elimination as 90% reduction in incidence of hepatitis B and hepatitis C from 2015 to 2030, and 65% reduction in mortality from hepatitis B and hepatitis C from 2015 to 2030, and less than 0.1% uh, HBS AZ prevalence among children under five years. So to achieve the global elimination goal, WHO set key service delivery targets for 2030 at the national level. Combining both hepatitis B and C, the targets are 100% coverage of the blood units with screening with quality assurance. And the second issue is with 90% of the injections administered with safety providing devices and uh, provided which is made available, available at the health facility and uh, giving 300 syringes and needles for injecting drugs. Coming to the hepatitis B target, 90% of the persons who are diagnosed should be treated and 90% of the persons affected with this, they should be aware of the status and 90% of the coverage 90% of the people uh, who are born should be given with timely injection of uh, hepatitis B, and 90% of the coverage of three doses of hepatitis B should be given to the inf infancy. Now coming to the uh, hepatitis C target alone, 90% of the persons affected should be aware of their status, and 90% of the persons diagnosed should be treated. By achieving these targets, this leads to the road of elimination of hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Now coming to the background of this control program. Viral hepatitis is a global health problem which is preventable and it is a silent epidemic. And surveillance can effectively guide prevention, control and treatment. And it is also treatable. Now let's know about the disease burden. Viral hepatitis is a global public health problem and approximately 240 million persons live with chronic hepatitis B and 130 to 150 million persons live with chronic hepatitis C. The special, specific aspects of viral hepatitis regarding the epidemiology are this hepatitis is a multiple disease present with multiple disease outcome and with similar clinical presentations to differentiate this, we have to do the laboratory investigations and uh, uh, differentiate the acute infections and chronic infections. And asymptomatic nature of the most, most infections, and multiple, there is a uh, multiple modes of transmission and also persons at risk, and there's a need for in vitro diagnosis. The interventions are, you should prevent the new infections by vaccination, then food and drinking, water safety, harm reduction in high-risk groups, sanitation and hygiene, safety of blood and blood products, infection control by providing safe injection practices, and surveillance of acute hepatitis, chronic hepatitis, and its complications. Management of chronic viral hepatitis of both hepatitis B and C are by treating, testing and treating them. Under this program, the management, program management, one includes prevention. Under the National uh, Family Welfare Health 
uh, mission. They include the two control programs, Swachh Bharat Mission and Safe Drinking Water and Sanitation Program. Then biomedical waste management, immunization for hepatitis B of both dose, high risk groups among, and among healthcare workers. Provision of safe blood and blood products, injection safety and infection control, and harm reduction among high risk groups, safe social cultural practices. And program management too includes diagnosis and treatment. This includes screening by serological tests, confirmation is made by molecular tests where required, and treatment of uncomplicated cases at treatment centers, drug dispensations up to health wellness centers. Treatment of complicated cases are made available at model treatment centers. Then, Laboratory capacity building and quality assurance, referrals and linkages, standard treatment protocol for viral hepatitis, uninterrupted supply of drugs, and training of healthcare staff. The testing methods include rapid test, which is qualitative. Then ELISA will give you 98% sensitivity and specificity. And RT-PCR, it will give you 99.9% .9 sensitivity and specificity. Coming to ELISA. ELISA is an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Its main principle is to use the enzyme-labeled immunoglobulin to detect the antigen or antibody. Signals are developed by the action of hydrolyzing enzymes on chromosome substrates. Then this is read. The optical density is measured by microplate reader. It uses it is mainly used for identifying or detecting the antigens and antibodies from viruses and uh, bacteria, and also it can detect the peptides and proteins. ELISA is very precise, sensitive, and selective method. It even detects the low levels, and it will give you the high throughput measurement, and it can be performed in batches. Essential elements governing the quality in ELISA testing. Quality of the specimen is used for testing. Quality of the kits used for testing. Quality and calibration of the equipments are used. And uses of the standard operating procedures for testing. And type of controls used while testing. And interpretation of the results, validating the results. And record, records should be kept. Record maintenance is to be done. And training of the staff should be done regarding the standard operating procedures. Quality of the specimen. Samples should be properly labeled. Samples should be clear and sterile. The lipemic, hemolyzed, and contaminated specimens do not yield reliable results. In our department, this National Viral Hepatitis Control Program is started in February 2021. In our department, rapid tests are also done. ELISA and viral load is referred at Tirupati. Under the rapid test, hepatitis, uh, for hepatitis B, samples tested are 5,711. Out of them, 225 are positive. The remain, rest of them are negative. Under hepatitis C, samples tested are 4,071. Out of them, uh, 72 are positive, and the remaining are re negative. By the ELISA method, positive samples from antenatals and blood bank are also added. For hepatitis B, total tests conducted are 660, and among them positive are 617, and negative are 43. For hepatitis C, the samples tested are 131, and positive are 101, and the negative are 30. Viral load is not done here, and it is referred to at uh, Tirupati. There, they have tested, and uh, the reports will be sent to our department total tests sent are 723, and for hepatitis B, total tests done are 126. Biosafety. Biosafety measures are very crucial to prevent laboratory infections while handling and also disposable of the samples. Internal quality control. Internal kit controls. It includes the positive control and negative controls. 
attempts many include a calibrator provided by the manufacturer. External controls, they include positive samples from the laboratory, either pooled or single, diluted or undiluted. Weekly reactive samples are the preferred choice. Essential to incorporate this to monitor quality in testing procedures. Program management three. Under this uh, program management, evaluation, monitoring and evaluation plays a very important role and also surveillance and research also done under this program management three. So under this monitoring and evaluation, hepatitis information and management portal is established and standardized monitoring and evaluation framework, framework and web-based portal is also uploaded. Indicator-based monitoring of the program is done and surveillance of the viral hepatitis, chronic infection and its complications are uploaded after the surveillance. And the review meetings are conducted and also external reviews are also done. Excuse me. Under National Viral Hepatitis Control Program, the tied laboratory network and the available tests. So under this pyramid, uh, at different, different levels, tests are done. At the PHC level, rapid uh, diagnosis testing is done for hepatitis B and hepatitis C. And uh, these samples are again referred for confirmation at the district level and also can be sent to the state level. At the district le level, rapid diagnostic testing is done and uh, ELISA is also done. And there is also access to conduct the RT-PCR. At the state level also, there's an access to RT-PCR and CLIA is also done. Chemiluminescence immunoassay uh, automated machine is also can be established at the state level. At the Sentinel sites, rapid testing is done, ELISA, CLIA, and also RT-PCR is also done. Center of, at the Center of Excellence, including all these uh, tests, gene sequencing is also done. If the, if the samples are to be transported, they need, to, they need to be collected, packed, and transported within six hours of the collection under suitable environmental conditions. So these are the logarithms. Uh, depending upon this, which makes us uh, uh, makes the patient uh, available, timely diagnosis, and uh, free uh, the expenses of the patient is also uh, reduced. If you follow this algorithm for the patients, so uh, these are the testing algorithms for diagnosis of viral hepatitis in jaundice patient. Here, the specimen sam serum or sample are collected. Then, under for HIV. IgM anti HAV, if they are detected, they are reactive and the report is given as HAV positive. If uh, they are non reactive, the report is given as HAV negative. If the sample is tested for HEV, hepatitis E virus, and IgM anti hepatitis E, if detected, it is reactive and the report is given as hepatitis E positive. If they are non-reactive, the report is given as negative. For hepatitis B virus, antigens and antibodies are tested. And uh, HBS, AG, if they are detected, they are reactive. And if they are not detected, they are non-reactive. And for antibodies, IgM, anti, hepatitis, uh, HBC are detected, they are reactive. And if not detected, they are given as non-reactive. Under this box, you can see Either of the tests done, if uh, HBV uh, report is given positive or not. If HBS AG is reactive and if antibody is not detective, the report is given as hepatitis B positive. If the antibody, that is IgM anti HBC, is reactive and this antigen is not detected, then the report is given as hepatitis B positive. If both are reactive, then the report is given as hepatitis B positive. If both are non-reactive, then the report is given as hepatitis B negative. When the sample is tested for hepatitis C virus, and uh, 
if anti hcv these are antibodies if they are detected the report is given and they are reactive and the report is given as H hepatitis c positive hepatitis c antibody positive if uh, anti hcv is not reactive then the uh, report is given as hepatitis c antibody negative the serum samples are to be used for serological and biochemical testing to be allocated and it is stored separately at minus 20 degrees centigrade for further it is useful for retesting for quality purposes and also for disputes all the hepatitis c antibodies positive to the positive they should be referred to the treatment center plasma samples are to be collected and allocated in three sterile cryo vials one vial is used for qualitative purpose that is to detect the hepatitis c rna and the other two they are archived they are stored at minus 80 degrees for quality assurance this is an another algorithm for detect suspecting those who are not having uh, jaundice symptoms or signs so the specimen is collected serum or plasma is collected and they are tested for hepatitis b and hepatitis c only for uh, for hepatitis b the sample if hbs ag is detected it is reactive and the report is given as hepatitis b positive if they are non reactive and the report is given as hepatitis b negative if the sample is tested for hcv hepatitis c and anti hcv is detected it is reactive and the report is given as hepatitis c positive if it is non reactive the report is given as hepatitis c negative here also similar procedure is done the samples are uh, stored at minus 12. serum samples are stored at minus 20 degrees and for all hcv they are referred to the treatment center and plasma samples they are split into three and uh, stored in cryo vials one is used for quantitative purpose that is for uh, crna estimation and the other two they are stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade for quality assurance and finally uh, before starting this sample collection itself the staff nurse is made mandatory to collect the informed consent and uh, the patient is made to give his name and signature and date and consent staff is also made to sign and write the date informed consent is a must for further testing and management of the viral hepatitis of the particular patient so for further references two books are available that is in india national laboratory guidelines for testing of viral hepatitis and the other book is uh, about diagnosis and management of viral hepatitis thank you